The new automotive policy is meant to promote a competitive and sustainable domestic automotive industry, including the National Car Corporation. With the unveiling of the new automotive policy, members of the public express their views on the matter. Tapi dalam keadaan semasa rasanya banyak lagi kereta yang bukan yang green car. So why not uh, green car and yang bukan green car also reduce lah. Since uh, inflation semua sekarang kan. So my comment, uh, not enough for green car only. Saya rasa semua kereta patut diturunkan juga sebab kita punya living cost memang dah terlalu tinggi lah untuk rakyat Malaysia. So saya setuju lah kalau harga kereta turunkan lagi harga dia. Bagi saya, kalau kereta import lah bagi saya... Mungkin itu mungkin setengah-setengah pihak setengah-setengah orang memang suka lah. Tapi bagi bagi setengah-setengah pihak mungkin kita import bagi kalau menurunkan harga mungkin tak ada makna bagi orang. Kalau kerajaan boleh menurunkan harga kereta kereta tempatan seperti Proton ke Pro2 ke apa orang kata upkan lagi loan orang bagi dia ni, okey itu saya setuju. Central to this policy is the vision of Malaysia to become an energy efficient vehicle hub. UMW Toyota Motor Sendirian Berhad President Datuk Ismail Suki hopes objectives of the government are met with the implementation of the new policy. But we hope that the government will uh, uh, continue with some form of incentive in terms of the hybrid to again to uh, spur the growth of the hybrid market in Malaysia and uh, achieve the uh, government objective of being uh, head in Malaysia the EEP hub. But we hope that there will be some form of incentive uh, by the CKD or CBU uh, to encourage the general public to uh, purchase hybrid vehicles.